Hi, you guys. So, we are in full demolition. The floors are getting ripped up. The wall is, drywall is coming out. And the flooring is coming out. And I have all of the return vents closed up. And we've moved everything. All of our furniture is outside in a little pot. So this is what it looks like. Oh. So you can see the termite damage. You can see all where they were. And they were traveling like from up here to down here, all the way to the floor. Well, that's why these like holes here here, there, that's from the termite damage. And they were having a ball, a ball. So all of this has to be replaced. And on this side, it's not as bad on this side. I guess they were having so much fun on the other side they didn't really come to this side. Oh, that's that. And the reason the floor is getting ripped up is because this is glued down engineered wood and they couldn't find the wood to match what we already have. So we had to go and get new wood. So that's that so this is actually day two because day one they took down the drywall and today they moved out all the furniture and started ripping out the floor which i was surprised they got this far so probably by tomorrow they should be done ripping out all of the flooring and there's the pile where all our furniture is in and um, yes, they should be done ripping out all of the flooring tomorrow. And then um, they just have to get all of the glue and stuff up. They have to scrape all of the glue up and um, re-level the floor. So that should take like another probably two days. So it should be tomorrow. And then to get the rest of the floor up, and then probably another day to get all of this glue, another day or two to get all of this glue up. Um, and then they'll go from there. But they have everything sealed off. That's the door that goes to the kitchen. That's the door that goes to, where the doorway that goes to our um, butler's pantry and they have the fireplace all sealed off and they have uh, this is where our kitchen is it's all sealed off and this is the machine that they were using to um, scrape the floor up Let me see if I can take this off. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. This is the machine that we're using to scrape the floor up. So yeah, it's gonna be a process just to get all of this glue off and re-level this floor because it was actually stuck to the foundation and not stuck to anything else. 
I'm just glad it's underway and getting done. And you want to say hi, Kayla? Say hi. Say hi. Hey, hi. So, yeah, that is just an update, you guys. I will be showing you some footage as we move along. We have to go pick out flooring tomorrow. And um, they'll just put that in. And we will let you guys know how it goes. Bye. Then we All right, so this is what everything is looking like. The floor is up. So every only thing left down here is glue. And this is the wall. And there's Caleb. Playing with the string. I must get away from him now. Okay, now that we have the string away from Caleb, say hi, Caleb. Hi. And there's a string up there. Hi. Need to blow your nose. So the next steps are going to be to try to scrape as much glue um, off the floor and kind of sand down these high spots. And also to pour down more concrete to level out all of these kind of rough spots that came up with the um, wood. And that's just part of the concrete. So it should look like this, like that. But part of the foundation came up when they were stripping up the floor. So it, now it looks like this. So they're gonna go back, come back in, I think next week, starting next week. And um, is that a hole in my wall? No, okay. <laughs> They're gonna come back in next week and pour down the concrete to level it out. Um, and then once that is dry and the flooring gets in, they are going to put the floor in. Now I'm not quite sure when they are going to start on the drywall. I'm not sure if they're gonna start before or after the flooring. So, I'll let you guys know about that. But yeah, that is the update of what's going on. So you can see down here, this is where a lot of the termite damage was around the floor, right in this area. And they replaced these three two by fours. And I need to ask about this one because this one is really damaged. So this one's going to have to be probably replaced too. I'm not sure why they didn't replace it. Because you can see all down here where it's just super damaged. And you can see here where it's a big hole. I'm not sure why they didn't. Um replace that but I'm definitely going to ask um but yeah <laughs> that is the update for the house I cannot wait till we get this floor put in it's going to be so 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 pretty it is wide planked about five inches wide and it's hand scraped um satin finish it's going to be so 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 gorgeous Especially compared to what was in here before, it was, um, I want to say maybe like three inch, like kind of red oak, um, builder's grade flooring. And 
it actually was a blessing in disguise because I wanted to get the flooring um, refinished, but because of the termites and all of that, they had to rip up the whole floor. So now we're actually getting what we want. It's gonna be more modern and up to date. And um, because they had to cut the drywall and stuff, so of course they're gonna have to um, paint. So while they're painting, I'm gonna go and pick out the color that we actually want in our house, which is gonna be a gray with white trim. So when they paint, they're gonna go ahead and paint all of that gray. So I don't have to hire this. I don't have to hire it out because once we started painting, I knew I was gonna have to hire this area out yes caleb okay bye bye i was gonna have to oh hold on y'all yeah like i was saying so i knew i was gonna have to hire somebody to paint this area because it's two stories and i was not gonna let my husband get on a ladder and try to paint this so, if they can go ahead and just paint this area. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place with this camera. Paint all of this area. Um, hey, hey, it's not about you. It's about mama. Um, paint all this area once they, once they patch it up. like good to go it'll be easier for us to paint all of these rooms because they're just normal eight foot um eight foot silver so if they can just get the base the, the moldings and paint the moldings white that'll be like super awesome for real for real because that'll be a lot less work for us to do later on down the road but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know what's going on.